Hey guys, um, this is a Briarfest help video, um, tips and, you know, just stuff you should know if it's your first time, or even if you just want to watch this, you know, um, it's always good to do your research, of course, is what you're here for, so, um, first off, you'll need, um, to bring your bags, um, I find that reusable shopping bags, um, like the fabric ones, those work really well to pull your horses around instead of the plastic ones, because the plastic ones can, um, break, um, and you can't put them on your shoulder, so it's a real, you know, it's not fun to carry them around. Because Briar will give you a bunch of free stuff, like, stuff like this. And you'll need somewhere to put it, too, so. Um, oh yeah, with your, with your pins, um, jiggle the bags, because they can fall off kind of easily. Um, I've had a few that have broken um, sometimes it's easier to stay in a cheap hotel. Um, the Clarion's definitely sold out, so just don't even think about staying there. Um, I stayed in a cheap hotel because I have to pay for everything. I have to pay for, um, half the gas and the hotel. So, you know, just be glad you don't have to pay for that, because I do. <laughs> uh, and I have to pay for all my models, of course, every single one. Um, buy a horse when you see it, um, especially with limited models, uh, like Woodburn, who's for sale, by the way, um, Woodburn, um, there's only 500 made, so if you see him and you really, really like him, you know, get him right then, because he may not be there when you're back. However, sorry, dumb thing, um, if there's a horse that you second guess yourself, like if you saw him and you were like, well, he's pretty, but I don't know if I want him. Um, just don't second guess yourself. If you have to think about it, then don't even get the horse. Because um, chances are you're going to see a horse later on that you'll want even more. Because there's so many briars at Briarfest, you'll be able to find every single model you've ever looked for. Um, you know, even super rare horses. Um, Alright, this is a big thing for a lot of people is overheating because a lot of people are from different countries or up north. I know it does get up in the hundreds and high up north, but um, you don't have the southern humidity. I live in Alabama, um, so I know what humid is. It's like stepping into a sauna outside. Like, it's so hot outside today. It's ridiculous, and it's only April. Um... Anyway, about the overheating, sorry, I'm reading off my little list over here, that's why it takes me so long. Um, you need to make sure you stay hydrated and um, bring a little fan if you want one or a spritzer fan thing. I don't ever have to bring that kind of stuff because um, I'm used to it. Sorry, I'm marking off something. Um, the silent auction. Um, I don't really recommend going to that unless you have a lot of money because... Um, You'll be able to see pictures later on, and there's really no point in watching horses that you can't have. It's really depressing. <laughs> like, you're like, oh my god, that's my favorite mold. <laughs> I'll never be able to have that horse. That's how I feel most of the time. Um, so that I use that time to shop. Um, shop around the park. Here's a good tip. Um, warping. We'll use cigar mold, for example. The cigar mold does have thin legs. Um, others are thicker, obviously, but lots of models do have thin legs, and it's good just to do this with all your horses. Um, make sure if you're storing them in your car, store them upright where they're standing, because if you're storing them downside, um, in Kentucky or anywhere in the south, basically, if it's really hot and humid, your car is basically going to turn into an oven. Um, it can get so hot, um, and the legs can actually warp downward. So, don't want that happening. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Make sure you have your program with you. Um, here's one. Because the main important part is... Well, shoot. I don't know what page it's on. Um, sorry, guys. It, it has a schedule. That's really important. Oh, here it is. And the map. Because you want to know where everything is. Sorry about that stupid glare. There. 
map. So, yeah. Um, bring a ball cap if you get hot, and so you don't have to go around squinting and looking all grumpy. <laughs> um, because the sun can get pretty crazy. Uh, sit down and watch the horses, um, perform. That was a mistake we did. We shopped basically the entire time, and, uh, we just really didn't... I mean, we watched the performances, but we didn't watch them closely, you know, and you really need to. You'll really regret it, because I regret it, definitely. Um, wear comfy shoes, like tennis shoes. Um, my friend was wearing flip-flops, and she got stepped on a lot. So that's not fun when they first open the doors. Um, wear light clothing, because if you wear something like, I don't know, navy or brown, um, or just dark colors in general, you'll get more hot than if you wear, like, white or peachy colors or pastels, whatever. Um, you want to wear sunscreen so you don't get sunburned because that'll ruin your day, ruin your whole trip if you get really bad sunburned. Um, make sure you put a cooler in your car with snacks because the horse park food sucks. Um, I won't really go into detail with that. Um, the water tastes like dirt out of the water fountains. Like, I don't know, it tastes like grass. Yeah. And the nachos aren't good. Um, and they're super, super expensive. Um, like, I think it was like $5 for, um, a little thing of nachos. Um, and I'd rather, much rather spend that on a horse. <laughs> Alright, here is the biggest, biggest, biggest question I always get asked. How much money should I bring to Briarfest? This depends on who you are. <laughs> It depends on what type of horses you want, number one. It depends on, um, I lost my train of thought, yeah. It depends on what kind of horses you want, and it depends on, um, where you're going to buy them. I do recommend buying all of your horses at the Clarion, um, or maybe if you at the horse park, if you see one that you want really, really bad, um, Sorry, my friend sent me a text message on my phone. I was reading it. <sighs> um, if you want horses like Star Studded and Woodburn, you're going to have to pay a lot more than if you want horses like Cupid and Arrow and, you know, other horses, normal horses. So if you just want run-of-the-mill briars, then you could probably slip by with maybe $400. Um, but I don't recommend going with less than that because it's really not worth going if you're not going to get a lot of models. Um, if you want good horses, I'd recommend bringing $700. Um, because you can really blow, blow, blow out your money in the Clarion. Um, like, I think I spent all my money in one night when I went. Um, so, I mean, okay, and here's another thing. How to get money for Briar Fest. Okay, guys, I know the economy sucks. Like, it sucks a lot. Gas is almost four bucks a gallon, and, you know, groceries are out of this world. Um, sorry, it's glaring. I don't like that. Um, so, if your parents can't afford to, um, you know, give you money for chores, you can always try other stuff. You can try selling some of the models you have. Um, that's worked well for me. You can try doing um, work for neighbors or family members. Just make sure it's no one, like, creepy, you know. Don't go to creepy people's houses. Okay, guys, just be safe, you know, where you're safe and where you're not. Just make sure. Um, like, I washed my neighbor's car a couple times, and he gave me, like, 20 bucks each time I did. He was just super nice, though, so... <laughs> um. And then I made tack and sold it, but I don't recommend trying to sell tack these days. Everyone knows how to make it, so nobody really buys it anymore. Um, hmm, hold on. Oh yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, selling models really helps. Um, if you don't want to sell your models, just my little motto is, um... Well, $25 for this horse could buy me a horse that is so much better at Briarfest. Um, doot, 
Do -do. Sorry. I'm saying um a lot. I can't help it. So guys, this is part one. Um, I'm going to have to make it in part two because this is over ten minutes. So go check out part two. That's some really important stuff. Um, don't skip it. Thanks for watching. Comment if you um, are going and I'll, you know, whatever.